What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno and Buffalo here with a full review for you of the Beats by Dre over-ear studio headphones. These are professional quality DJ-esque headphones that are made by Monster of cabling fame. They're going to set you back about 350 bucks if you buy it from Monster. If you look at Amazon or other third-party realtors, uh, you'll find them for about 50 bucks less. So I unboxed this and I showed you what came in here, but there's a lot of stuff, so I'm going to recap it very quickly. Uh, you get a very large box with Dr. Dre's picture because it's Beats by Dre. You're going to get a cleaning cloth. You're going to get the headphones in a carrying case, which I'll show you in just a minute. You are going to get two cables. You're going to get a black one and a red one that's inside of there, which you will see in a second. You're also going to get a quarter inch adapter for a high performance. So if you need to connect to some sort of high quality audio equipment, you can go ahead and plug the 3.5 in and you get the connector. You also have an airline adapter. Some airlines use that weird two prong plug. So you've got access to that as well. And really what uh, is most important that comes in that box is the headphones themselves. And they do come in a pretty large case. If you want to throw this in a perch or something, you're going to want to plan accordingly because it is a bit large. So go ahead and open it up. And the case is hard. Uh, you can push in, there's a bit of resistance, but it will protect the headphones nicely. So open this up. And here is the subject of our review, the headphones themselves. So pull these out. Now it comes with a red non-tangle cable, and I can tell you it really doesn't tangle, which is quite nice. You can go ahead and really do anything you want with it. It's very easy to undo. It's not like some of the earbud ones, which can take 10 minutes to untangle. Uh, this is very easy. No in-ear microphone here on the red one, uh, but Monster did include on the black one, actually a built-in microphone. So if you want to use it with your phone or iPhone, whatever it might be, you can go ahead and do so, and there's sort of the obligatory control buttons built right in. So let's go ahead and push the case off to the side. There's not much else to see here other than a little bit of a pocket that actually pulls right out in case you want to put something underneath it, hide some cash or something in there. So we'll push all this off and let's talk about the headphones. I have never really used over the ear headphones before. So I was a bit skeptical. I was worried first that I was going to look a little bit weird rocking these things out. And secondly, I was worried that they were not going to be comfortable. Well, the second fear about them not being comfortable was put to rest very quickly as soon as I put them on. They have this very soft, cushiony material on the side, uh, which actually feels much more comfortable than, say, competing headsets made by Bose. Um, I've got kind of sensitive ears, and I have things that are pushing up to them uh, for long periods of time. They can start to hurt. And I wore these on a flight for about four and a half hours, and I had no ear discomfort, which is quite nice. Now, that may also be due to the fact that the actual ear cups themselves angle and form to your head. So this will conform to your ear instead of your ear having to conform to the headset. Something that's very nice. It's a little addition. It's very subtle. Something that I found very, very helpful. Of course, it expands to your head size. And for carrying, as you saw, they just fold right in. Now, these are not wireless headphones. It's powered on two AAA batteries. And that is definitely one of the downsides of the device. The battery compartment is actually right underneath the ear cup. You go ahead and slide that off and the battery is right underneath. Uh, battery life was not as strong as I would have liked. When I first unboxed these, I used them for about an hour. Uh, I had them aside for about a week and then I went on a flight. And when I went to turn on the headset, uh, the batteries were dead, which was a little bit annoying actually. So I couldn't use them on the way out there. I had to use them on the way back and pick up a fresh set. That may be due to older batteries in the box. I put in brand new fresh ones, able to use the headset for about five and a half hours and the batteries were still working. But something to keep in mind if you're going on long travel, you may want to pack an extra set of triple A's. So let's go ahead and continue to talk about the headset because there's a lot of cool features here. So there is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. You take your cable, you plug it in and you plug it into whatever you want to listen to. Pretty straightforward. There's a built-in power button here on the ear cup. You go ahead and turn that on. You get a red light letting you know that you are on and activated. And there's also a mute button built in too. So if we're listening, you can go ahead and push that. So these are noise canceling headphones. And I was again a bit skeptical about the noise canceling. I've used some older noise canceling headphones and I noticed there was a weird electronic sort of ringing that I could always hear very steadily when music wasn't playing. Uh, not the case with the Beats by Dre. In fact, when I was flying on the plane, I turned the headphones on so I had the noise canceling. I didn't even listen to music for part of it just to cancel out all the engine noise. I was sitting right over the engine. It was really loud and I heard nothing with these things on and I slept like a baby. So if you're looking for a good noise canceling headphones or travel companions, these are fantastic. In addition to putting out music, which we'll talk about in a second, at a very high quality and fidelity, they're great for blocking out baby screaming on a flight. If you guys do a lot of traveling, this definitely be something that you want to look at. So let's talk about the audio fidelity and sort of what they do. 
Um, these headphones, at least according to Monster, combine extra large speakers and drivers uh, with high power digital amplifiers. And that's just fancy talk for high quality audio. And the audio coming out of these things is very, very, very good. You actually hear some of the nuances in music that you didn't hear before. So if you're listening to acoustic guitar, you can actually hear the fingers coming off the strings. Or if you're listening to a live recording, you can actually hear the singer's breath. Uh, which is kind of neat, and things you don't really hear on in-ear headphones, the things that you didn't even know were there on all the tracks you listen to. I listen to uh, some live albums on these, and say the Apple in-ear headphones that come with iPods or iPhones, whatever Apple product you get, and really you could clearly hear a difference. And you'd expect to hear a difference, something for this price point and this size, you really want to make sure that you're getting uh, something that's worth your money. So let's talk about a uh, look of these things. So they definitely have a younger look, and they've got sort of that Dr. Dre-ish feel. Of course, they're Beats by Dre, so you get sort of a, a more modern hip look. They're very slick looking, uh, glossy plastic all the way around. Big Beats by Dre on the top. If you go out to a lot of clubs, you may see the DJs rocking these. Uh, they're not as big and protruding as I would have expected. I didn't feel awkward wearing them or felt like I was trying to say, hey, me, 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 look at me. Just like I was wearing a normal pair of headphones. So if that's a concern for you, uh, don't worry. I'll put a link down below. If you want to check out the unboxing video, where actually I put these things on and you can see what they look like on a real person's head. Overall, I've been very impressed with the Beats by Dre headphones. And I have to admit, I came in uh, admittedly skeptical for this price point for headphones. I wasn't sure that was going to be worth it. But if you value audio fidelity, you're looking for over-the-air headphones. And if you want really fantastic noise canceling, which for me is hands down the biggest selling point of these uh, headphones, uh, you really are getting a very nice set of, uh, of headphones and with really good audio fidelity. Something that looks nice as well. You get a high quality case, but the case again is rather big. So whether or not these are for you is going to come down to personal preference. Uh, for my money and if I'm doing a lot of traveling, these are going to be in my bag. Even if I'm not listening to music, they're going to be a great thing to have to block out from kids screaming. So what do you guys think about the Beats by Dre Studio headphones? Monster's got a ton of other products. You can check out some in-ear buds and some different Beats by Dre. Um, definitely go ahead and take a look if you'd like. Anyway, my name is John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. For all your tech needs, be sure to check out the website, create your own sub blog, even monetize it, make a few bucks. And for exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.